Hello and welcome back to another video. The Nike Motion Flyknit 2.0s are here and I want to review these shoes because I just got the old versions six months ago and I love them. However, they did start to come apart a little bit. Um, as you can see, I really was a little rough on these and I used them every single day. So I was fully testing these out and I loved them. Now I have the 2.0s and they look vastly different, almost insanely different. Um, just starting off with the lack of shoelaces. Um, there's a huge difference between these two shoes and I actually want to do a video on that. So stay subscribed or subscribe if you haven't and put on the bell so you can figure out so when you so you can know when the new video comes out and uh, you can go watch it. Uh, this shoe is actually designed so you'd have a more more natural um, feel when you put it on your feet. It actually says run natural in um, the shoe. And as you can see at the bottom, they have this revised new technology that they just made uh, last year. And it's also, I feel like it's a little bit different and it's a little bit, um, I think the grooves are a little bit bigger in the 2017 version than in the 2016 version. And uh, if you wanna know what the old looks like, uh, here's from 2015 and as you can see, it's vastly different everything it's as you can see this is not even that flexible compared to the new version which is extremely flexible and uh, you kind of want that if you want a natural ride on your shoes uh, so that's why I really liked the feel and I would give the comfortability uh, a 5 out of 5 because I just feel like it's something that I very much value and it really does deliver on it now to the straps the straps are actually something that i really like they uh come off and they go on real easily and uh they do make some of, of a noise which can draw attention to your shoes to your feet and um sometimes it's good attention people like it. other times people say what you have straps and yeah straps are back and it might be a new trend for this year with nike a strap shoe and um, I actually sort of like that sort of trend. Uh, you have a good benefit of not having your friends tying your shoes together uh, because with straps it doesn't work that way. Um, but with shoelaces it's so easy to do it and it's always fun to do it. So I actually like this new version. It actually feels a lot tighter and it has, uh, as you can see, it's much of a thicker strap instead of your usual straps. Uh, so it really holds on tightly to your feet and you can loosen and tighten it. Um, the shoe allows you to do that so you have a good amount of flexibility. Now the next part I want to bring up is the Nike um, Flyknit technology and I'm a huge fan of the Flyknit technology. Um, it all started off uh, 2014 and here's a 2015 version and they're starting to you know come up with ideas to making this shoe more like a sock and as you can see it still looks like a shoe but you know with the sock material and this tech material is actually very durable and it also um, holds on tight to your feet so then they went on to the next version uh, 2016 and still looks like a shoe but it still has that low top um, sockness and uh, the texture is very much vivid on this shoe and it holds on very tightly. You still have the laces and uh, the bottom is you know, somewhat new. It's the same as the 2017 version. And then we come here to the 2017 version and as you can see, they completely got rid of laces. They bring up the high top um, to it and so it just feels a lot more like a sock. You put it on and you feel like you're, you're you know, putting your feet into a sock and it slips on real nice. Um, and it holds on tight like a nice hug so I actually really like these shoes um, it's a good improvement on Nike's part so durability wise I'd say these shoes are actually very durable um, I go through shoes really quickly so don't judge my last shoes by you know by um, normal standards because my testing on shoes are very it's very tough on shoes so this shoe is actually very comfortable and I, I bet you it's gonna last as long as the last um, shoes or maybe even longer. Now these shoes do run at $150 and they might be going down soon. Um, 
Some places might sell it for 140 and um, the, the older versions are actually, I've seen them down to like 70 bucks. So um, either shoe is a good shoe and if you wanna see which one's worth your money, just subscribe because I'll tell you um, in that video, in the comparison video. Now, they do, it does come in a couple colors. It comes in this blue teal. It also comes in a gray and a white. And also on the Nike website, you can get some custom, um, custom colors um, of the shoe and it should run you at around the same price. So those are my impressions and my review of the Nike Motion Flyknit shoes. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. Thank you.